This is Plant-Based Briefing, Navigating Social Situations on Your Vegan Path, Part 1 by Angela Crawford at AngelaCrawfordPhD.com. And I'm Marian Erickson. This is the Curated Content Plant-Based Podcast, where I narrate articles on healthy, compassionate, and sustainable living with permission in about 10 minutes or less every weekday. And today's article will be longer than that, so it's a two-parter. I'll read Part 1 today and tune in tomorrow for the next half. It's written by Angela Crawford. She is a psychologist, transformational coach, and a vegan educator. So now let's get to today's plant-based briefing. Navigating Social Situations on Your Vegan Path, Part 1 by Angela Crawford at AngelaCrawfordPhD.com. Early on my vegan journey, I discovered many powerful reasons for eating plant-based. First and foremost was becoming more at peace with myself through making more compassionate choices and leaving animals off my plate. Before becoming plant-based, I couldn't understand how anyone could be vegetarian or vegan, or what they would eat. But once I awakened my compassion for farmed animals, I couldn't imagine turning back. I quickly discovered that eating a plant-exclusive diet was not only kinder to animals, it was also better for my own health. Unlike what I'd been taught growing up, I did not need meat or dairy to thrive. In fact, research studies have shown that a plant-based diet can help to prevent and even reverse many of our most common medical conditions, such as coronary heart disease and type 2 diabetes. With a strong family history of cardiovascular disease, this really hit home for me. I also learned that eating a plant-based diet is one of the most powerful things we can do to live more sustainably on our planet. Beyond the ethical, health, and environmental reasons for going veg, there are also psychological, emotional, and spiritual benefits. My own personal experience, as well as my research with other vegans for my forthcoming book, The Vegan Transformation, A Journey to Heal Yourself and the World, shows that often these emotional and spiritual shifts are among the most meaningful parts of being plant-based. So with all these wonderful benefits, it should be easy to share this lifestyle with others, our loved ones, acquaintances, co-workers, etc., right? If we have discovered a major way to change lives for the better, why wouldn't we want everyone to know about it and hopefully inspire others to join us? Sadly, things don't always flow so smoothly when we navigate conversations about veganism. While plant-based diets are more popular than ever before, statistics show that vegans are still only about 3% of the population. Research suggests that social challenges are perhaps the biggest hurdle in starting and sustaining a vegan lifestyle. For many of us, it's not easy to adopt a lifestyle that's different from most people around us, and we may experience stress, anxiety, or frustration when we try to navigate everyday social situations. I know this was certainly true for me, especially when I was a new vegan, as I struggled with an inner conflict between my desire to honor my values and my desire to fit in socially. Take a moment to reflect. What social situations or conversations throw you off track, lead to stress, or cause you to react in ways you're not proud of? If you are like many vegans, this may include things like navigating family and cultural traditions centered around animal foods, handling social expectations, reactions, and dynamics, not wanting to inconvenience others or make a fuss, dealing with critical or judgmental comments about veganism, and not knowing any other plant-based eaters or vegans in your social circle. It is important to develop strategies that can help us handle these challenges successfully. How do we honor our personal values and goals while navigating social gatherings and conversations where there may be conflict around these? How can we respond with grace and ease? Below, I discuss four tips for thriving socially while living a plant-powered lifestyle. 1. Remember your why. First, let's start with your foundation. What are your reasons for going plant-based? Is it compassion for animals, being healthier, improved fitness, overcoming a medical issue, caring for the planet, or environmental sustainability? Write down your primary reason or reasons, then go deeper with exploring this. How does being vegan or plant-based help toward things that really matter to you? How do your lifestyle choices affect the causes that you are passionate about? How does your why create a positive difference for yourself and for others? After writing down your responses to these questions, it can be helpful to encapsulate them into one or two sentences that describe your why. Read your statement daily to help you stay connected with your deepest motivations. Remembering our reasons for going vegan can help us to weather challenges we face along the way. Staying connected to our why can give us the resilience to learn new skills and to dare to be different on behalf of our vision, values, and goals. 2. Seek vegan support. Healthy relationships are paramount for our emotional and physical well-being. Supportive connections are especially important when we make a lifestyle change where we're living differently than many around us. 
Support from other vegans who share our passion and commitment provides numerous benefits. For one, we no longer feel alone. There's great relief and comfort in connecting with others who share our views, concerns, and joys. In addition, these kindred spirits cheer us on, provide camaraderie, and encourage us. They guide and support us in overcoming our difficulties, including ways to navigate challenging social situations. How can you connect with other vegans? Consider these options. Check out local or online vegan meetup groups. Go to veg fests or wellness expos. Attend plant-based and vegan courses, conferences, trainings, and programs. Create your own vegan event or local group. Volunteer with local animal sanctuaries, shelters, or vegan organizations. Follow vegans on social media, read vegan blogs, or listen to plant-based podcasts. Find a vegan mentor to support you. Peace Advocacy Network and Vegan Outreach offer free peer mentoring programs linked here. You just listened to Navigating Social Situations on Your Vegan Path, Part 1 by Angela Crawford at AngelaCrawfordPhD.com. And I'm Marian Erickson, your host. Tune in tomorrow for the second half of this article, where you'll hear some tips about how to be prepared and proactive and how to develop healthy communication skills. And then I'll link some related episodes in the show notes of tomorrow's episode as well. So please share this episode with anyone who might benefit. And thanks for listening.